This is Electric Universe Geology, Earth News. This is a follow-up on the Trinity River. In the comments section, a gentleman named Craig pointed out that he lives close to Klamath um, in California, the small city along the coast, and that the Trinity River actually empties into the Klamath River, which empties into the Pacific, which brought back some memories. Because I've been up here to Klamath Falls, where the Klamath River begins. There's a dam creating a reservoir, another dam down here, another reservoir. But this Klamath River flows all the way through the coastal range, meeting up with the Trinity River emptying into the Pacific Ocean. This, if it folded and faulted, shouldn't have a simple path to the Pacific Ocean for a river to simply erode through. It seems like it should be a solid wall of rock that folded and faulted up. So it's another instance. This whole area should be a lake, an inland lake, because all of this couldn't get through and it just backed up the water. How long would it take for something like this to erode through there? It doesn't make any sense to me. So thank you for pointing that out. Um, the other thing is that these canyons, if they were eroded, have to then be lithified by something and turned into rock and metamorphic rock. A lot of this is metamorphic. So it's really complicated using the standard geologic model and using a catastrophic model. It's relatively simple. You have a drainage, you have an area that's large and draining a massive area and it's getting to the ocean and then you have material from above that comes down, forms formations that are actually mountains and the river prevents accumulation just like the video from the Grand Canyon experiment in the garage. It's the same thing. So thanks again. Just a little follow-up. I think the Klamath is even more exciting than the Trinity River. And thank you for those comments. I appreciate it.